I'm Renee and today we're at Top Top Hot Pot in Orlando and I'm going to be showing you how to eat hot pot today. So basically what hot pot is, is literally a hot pot of water or broth um, that's flavored and you order uh, vegetables and meats that you get to put into the broth. And um, the choices, there's seven here, are spicy, herbal, pork bone, original, tomato, curry, and turnip. And I personally just like the original. Um, thank you. So I would say any meat that goes over there. Okay, so you're doing the half the, the all you can eat. Any meat that is over there, anything that is over there, you can just grab it. The meats are gonna take five to six minutes to cook. Any vegetable, any seafood, I would say it would take like three minutes. Three minutes. And then the noodles just take one minute. One minute. That's pretty much it. Okay. Okay. Me too. Five. Any questions? Just let me know. Okay. Thank you. So today I have selected ingredients from the conveyor belt since Top Top is a hot pot all you can eat restaurant. And here I have some seafood balls and some vegetables and meat and crab that I'm going to cook today. So today I've got a sauce where I've mixed sesame paste with peanut butter sauce and sesame oil and I usually like to put some cilantro in there as well. Um, there's a large variety of different sauces you can pick and this just tends to be my favorite mix. So now we're going to begin eating hot pot. So first I'm going to start with the seafood balls and I'm just going to use my chopsticks and grab them and place it in the hot water gently so it doesn't splash. And the broth that I've chosen is the original flavor with mild spiciness. And let it steep for a few minutes. And usually how I tell when it's ready is by um, the texture. So if I, let's see. If I grab it and it's a little more um, squishy, the texture, that's how I usually know that it's ready but if you want a more accurate estimate, about three minutes should be good. And then I'm also going to put some vegetables in. And vegetables usually take the shortest amount of time to cook, probably about two minutes, and it will be ready. All right, and then I'm just going to mix that around a little bit. And then now we're going to add some crab. Okay, and the vegetables should be ready. So after it's done, I usually like to put my vegetables in a separate bowl so that I don't get the sauce too watery. And these are another variation of the seafood balls. I'm going to add that while I wait for my vegetables to cool down. Usually while I'm waiting for things to cool down, I like to add other things in. So then when I finish eating one item, I can move on to the next. And then I'm also going to add some meat. To vegetables. And then I'm going to just dip this into my sesame sauce or whatever sauce I've chosen. And then if you don't want it to get too drenched in sauce, you can put it on the plate right next to it. And begin eating. Messy. Mm. Really good. And I'm just going to check if my seafood balls are done. So 
they're a little bit squishy. And that's how I usually tell that they're done. You can have the server also turn down the heat on your hot pot if you choose. Um, and then, or you can do it yourself down here. Meat is usually done cooking in about five minutes, but I usually like to see if there's any red on the meat before I eat it, just to make sure it's cooked enough. All right, I'm gonna let that cool down. And my crab should be ready as well. And you can also use the spoon to ladle out items if you're not too great with chopsticks. It's easier to drain the food too. Yeah. Alright, so let's begin eating. I'm gonna dip this in my sauce. Good sauce. Set it aside. Personally, I think the sauce is the most important part. Since you're dipping all of your items in there, the sauce is where the flavor is. Mm, perfect. Okay, now that my food has all cooked, I'm going to go and enjoy my dinner. But I hope to see you guys here soon at Top Tot Hot Pot near Waterford Lakes.